Maurice and Shovel Day, I've got their extensions. And this is for you too, Steve. Oh, that's official now. Yeah, I okay. believe so. What mm-hmm. What do you think? I guess making the playoffs isn't that important. <laughs> Damn. Wow. That's, Someone challenged wow. me on it. It's pretty interesting. because I love, listen, I, uh, Kevin Sheldayoff is a stand-up human being, and I'm a big fan of Kevin Sheldayoff. This is the, the, you know, this isn't the, the, the tri-league, to borrow a baseball term. This is the get-it-done league at times, and I just, I, Maurice, I, I can see, I mean, it's been 2014 for Paul Maurice, I get it. Um, I, I don't, I don't know. Are they? I, I don't. I'm, I'm a little confused with Shepard. Are they in a position a to be good? If you build around the kid, number 29, yes. But and that's another well, no, three got, years away. They've got some other players on that team. They, they, Shifley's good. Shiba, Shifley's really good. I think Bufflin. there's players in their blue line that are very overrated. It, and, really? and I don't think the, I don't think Steve Mason's going to help him in well, one wish. That was the. That I'll was give the you the goalie. That's yeah. it. A lot of a lot of the people in the stats community seem to think the Jets are going to end up doing pretty good, but. Yeah, you had the worst goaltending in the league for a while, and Steve so now, Mason's your answer. Like, even if he has a bounce back year, maybe they'll get to twenty seventh in team goals again. No, but they're roll- <laughs> no, no, maybe but get to hold on. But they're rolling the dice that either their kid gets better or Mason can stop gap until they find somebody else. If that's both what they're those doing. Things happen, you're good, but it's, that's two ifs at one position. No, I com- I completely understand. But if you look at that roster, I'm not saying that that's a terrible team. And I, I think, think they are. and I, I think, think they're good. And I think what they've done there is had patience. Which is rare. The patience is done because they made one playoff since returning to Winnipeg. And but they lost in four games. It's yeah, and they were swept. But no wins. But if you look at that roster, they've done a pretty good job of roster construction. And they haven't they haven't sold out. They didn't sell out. And having been in Toronto when they were selling out repeatedly, it doesn't work. Mm-hmm. It doesn't work. I think now you have the guy where you can sell out a little bit. Like they didn't have a guy to build around. Tim's right. Now you have the guy to build around. I think the, I think you could be a little more risky. No, but I think Shifley is a really, really, I'm not really, Shifley. really no, good player. I, I'm and then you got Lining. I'm saying I mean, now's yeah. time to take maybe a couple of risks. I don't think Bufflin is like a – is Bufflin a top 10 defenseman in hockey? No. I don't okay. think so. Because he gets no. talked up like he is. Is I think Jacob Truba the Chicago. next guy? Well, and I think it's because at Jacob times he looks like a top 10. He's such My, an interesting guy in the league. Like, it, yeah, at times he looks like it. But every night he can do he can just do things that no one else can because right. no one else is two hundred and sixty five pounds. Right. You know, like, and can move like him and mm-hmm. has some, but he's just he's not as consistent as he like to be a top ten defenseman. I think I know what you're touching on though. Like they until Patrick Line, they had a lot of you know really appealing pieces, but no real star. star like I yeah, like I agree with Sheffield Dave not doing anything. Like who are you building around? Right. It's a t- it's a difficult question. There's no question now. So have a go, right? But the honeymoon's over. Like now, it's time to I, yeah. But, but and to that point, I agree. This with extension him. is here. You go. If yeah. you don't get it done, you're done. For both Maurice and for Shovel Day. Off, the league in today, my mind, uh, league today just announced the trade deadline next year will be Monday, February 26th. Wow, that's early. Uh, it feels early. I, I think it's about the same time as last year, though. Is it? Yeah, they moved it up a little. I guess my my point is, I I Shovel Day Off's kind of been low key ahead of those dates in the past. Mm-hmm. I'd I'd be stunned. If that was the case this year. Now, obviously, it depends how the season's going, blah, blah. But I just, I think the time to be a little risky is very soon for Shovel Day Off. Maurice has more rope, but we'll see. I'm surprised. I'm, I'm surprised by Shovel Day Off. Maurice, I'm not 